Hey guys, right now there's an update problem with Fortnite and the way to fix it, so you guys will see that once you go into Fortnite, you see this update, update, but there isn't any update once it takes you to the App Store. So that's actually normal because there is no update on the App Store. The actual update is on the app itself. So don't go into the App Store. This is the App Store. What you need to go is into the actual app from Fortnite. So open it up and make sure to fully close it. So that doesn't mean press your home button or just swipe up and that's it, this is minimizing. What you need to do is fully close it. So that means you do this and then you swipe up on it and it's fully closed. That's a fully closed app. Then if we open that up again, it should refresh it, connect and restart the process. So what we all need to do also is go into settings. Under our settings, we're gonna report that bug. Okay, so just write down the bug and then send it to Epic because it is something that Epic has to fix. Just leave Fortnite open and don't close it while it's doing the update. If that doesn't work, we're gonna have to delete the app, which is really easy. Just hold your finger on top of it and then we're gonna delete it. Once you delete it, just go ahead and download it again from the App Store. Now, yes, you guys need to know your Epic username plus your password in order to get in. So you need your account information, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and download Fortnite again. Just make sure before deleting it, you know your password, you know your email. As long as you guys know that, all your Epic information is in there. And that's why if you're playing on iPhone, iPad, or Touch, or any Android for that matter, and you go into an Xbox, you guys can see all your skins and everything still there because the account is on Epic. It's not just on your iPhone. It's not just on your Xbox, for example. It's synced everywhere because of Epic Games. So we're just gonna wait for it to actually download and then we're gonna open it up again. Once it's fully downloaded, just click on open. Then click on, find, yes, find my account. Once you sign in, you will notice that you have everything. So you're gonna have your skins. Everything is in your Fortnite anyways. So I'm gonna click on allow for now. You don't have to. And then it's gonna start installing. So once you click on update, it should give you a message like this. Just click on OK, got it. And then we go, just leave your app open. I suggest doing that just so you won't have any problems. It's gonna download pretty slowly. Well, it depends on your Wi-Fi speed. If you guys have good Wi-Fi speed, then no problem. This will download really, really fast because it's only four gigs. Um, if you guys have slow internet speed, this will take forever. So deleting the app and then reinstalling it will do the job for most of you as your last resort. And that's just the last resort because we need to download the app again. Other than that, don't worry about it, you won't lose anything. That's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.